So yeah, so now that we uh, went through these process, uh, we created tolerances, we added moves, we uh, took the results. So now we have all the information in the model that we wanted. The next step is to take a report, a final report for, for all these information. To do that, um, we have this report generation dialog here, which allows the user to activate, deactivate multiple steps, which you need to show it in the report or no. And once you, once you create a report, this is how the report looks like. This is the um, cover page with all the model information that you want and then followed by a model summary page, which can be edited and you can give your own uh, model summary information in this page as well. So now if I come, in, come into the simulation results, so if I highlight, you can see how it's getting highlighted the each uh, measurement that we created for this model. Now by clicking into it, and this is, uh, sorry, the simulation. The simulation results will give you the graph view and also all the major information that you saw in the simulation result page. And from here, you see these buttons, which says nominal, uh, estimated, low, estimated, high, and animate. If I animate through these, and notice how the rods go up and down. So that's actually putting the rod in its estimated high, estimated low, and nominal position. And again, we have additional information like the model assembly, where you can highlight the model process and see how the model gets assembled. Followed by, we have GDNT. Here again, you can yeah, see all the information. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. basically, once this model is done with the push of a button, you can get a report that can document everything that's in the model, as well as you know the, the results, the measurements that you were wanting, and it allows you to pan through all of this results with hyperlinks, as you saw. And you can see here that you can generate this report HTML format. That's what Priya was using, or Excel, PowerPoint, or Word. And we also allow the user to take specific views for the model. So now, um, once you create an MTM, you can go ahead here and create a view for that uh, particular um, MTM, which will actually try to have that view that you save for this model to show up in the report. Or if you avoid the step, there will be a default image that would be taken for this model and that would be saved along with the report. Hey, uh, Priya, and um, one of the things uh, we do, you, we use it all the time. The four main inputs to a tolerance analysis model is the CAD data, moves, how it goes together, tolerances, part variation, and measurements, what we want to measure. When you're in this business, we refer to those as MTMs, to right. move to tolerances and measurements. So I'm just saying this so okay. that these guys know right, when you say it. MTM, yeah. you're talking about moves, tolerances, and measurements. Okay. Our moves or SolidWorks constraints. Our tolerances or SolidWorks G&T. Okay. Our measurements or our measurements. <laughs> sorry, we, we don't use SolidWorks measurements yet. So, yeah, sorry <laughs> about that. So yeah, so as I told you, uh, MTM means the moves measure tolerances and that's what I mentioned where you can take views for those and save that along with the model which will be helpful in when you create an automatic report for that.